Hey everyone, my name is Todd, and in this video, I'm going to build this UI using the new Swift Playgrounds app for iPad and a plugin that I built called Swift Package Exporter. So, um, before we jump over to Playgrounds, essentially what this Figma plugin does is it takes all of your design tokens in Figma, uh, like your colors and type styles and image assets, and it bundles them up into a Swift package. So, um, what I did ahead of time is I ran the Swift Package Exporter plugin on this Figma file, I exported a package, and I added that package to GitHub so that I have a URL that I can use when I'm in the Playgrounds app when I'm adding a, adding a package. So um, I'll include some instructions and uh, more details in the video description, but uh, we're going to jump over to Playgrounds um, and use that package that I've already exported from this design file. So uh, let's jump over to Playgrounds now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to include that Swift package that I just mentioned. And um, I'm going to grab the URL for this package over in GitHub. And I'll go ahead and paste it right here. And add to project. And that's it. So now we have our uh, all of our design tokens inside of this Playgrounds app. And um, the next, we're going to actually start using our tokens inside of our views. So first, let's import the design system module. And let me know. Let me open up the preview so we can see what we're doing. And first thing I'll add is that uh, background view um, that has all those interesting shapes and colors. So image dot design design system dot background and we should see the background show up immediately and because this is going to be our background what we want to actually do is we want to uh, create a z stack around this that everything's going to go into all right and then this whole thing is going to be embedded in a navigation view um, so we can add our navigation bar at the top. And one other thing we're going to do is we're going to say uh, ignore safe area at all. All right. So we've got our background set up. And next thing we want to do is we want to create those individual cards that were in the designs. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Swift file just for that card view. Card view. And again, we're going to import our design system uh, into this file. And we'll start building this out. Card view. View. And just to make sure this is working, let's add some hello world text. Hello world. Okay. And um, we'll jump back into content view now. And let's add that card view just so we can see the preview of that again. Card view. And there we go. All right, so that's a good start. Now let's jump back into card view and start to build that out using all the design tokens in our package. So first thing we'll do is we'll create a vStack um, around the whole thing. And um, we'll start out by giving, uh, start out by adding that avatar image. So image.designsystem.avatar1. And um, we're also going to add a H stack around this so that we can add our text next to it. So we've got this. And then we've got two lines of text, so we're going to use a V stack for those. And we'll say text. Just say title for now. And for this text, we're going to use. Um, one of our 
font styles from our Figma file. So font design system dot title label. And what's cool is you can see all of those tokens that were in our Figma file are showing up in the um, in the playgrounds code completion. So it's easy to select uh, what you're looking for. And we're also going to give this um, a foreground color of color dot design system dot primary text. And I'll copy this to create our second line. So username, and this is going to be the meta label, and this is going to be secondary text. All right. And one thing we're also going to do here is we're going to, we are going to create a frame around this card. So frame. Go to a new line and say max width dot infinity. And for alignment, we're going to do dot leading. Okay. And let's see, it's kind of going off view here. So, one other thing I'm going to do is Add resizable here. There we go. All right, and uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to add the align alignment right here so that everything's left aligned. Alignment dot leading. All right. Um, we also want to add that background color, that kind of frosted glass effect to this uh, card. So uh, let's start to add some of those styles. So we'll do background, and here we're going to use one of the built-in Swift um, materials, and uh, the one I like to use is the ultra-thin material. And let's add some padding. There we go. And um, we're actually going to move this because we want it inside the background. Is that what we want? There we go. And then in content view, we're also going to add some padding to our Z stack. This V stack. All right. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to add a stroke around this card. So, uh, we're going to use overlay for this, and we're going to use a rounded rectangle. A rectangle with a corner radius, 16. And we're going to add a stroke to that. Stroke, color, uh, design system. And then we got card stroke. And we also need to add corner radius to our background as well. So there we go. Okay. Next, um, we want to add that waveform uh, in the play button below this, uh, below our avatar and username. So um, the next thing we want to do is we want to, below this V stack, um, we want to create, let's see, vStack, hStack. Right here, we want to create another vStack. No, I'm sorry, hStack, since those are horizontal. And let's add that uh, play icon first. So we'll do image, and we're going to use one of the system icons, the so system name and play dot fill. Um, that's good for now. And then uh, we'll say font because we want to increase the size of this. We'll say system system. Uh, let's see. 
dot system size 36. That should make that a bit bigger. Okay, and then next to that, we're gonna add our waveform image that we uh, exported from Figma. And we're gonna say image.designsystem.waveform. And that's kind of stretch. That's going to stretch things out. So we need to make. We also need to make this resizable, and we want to do scale. Uh, scale to fit. There we go. And we still need to align everything in this view. So I think we need to add alignment right here. Leading. Yep. Okay. Cool. So. Um, that was pretty quick. Um, next, what we can do here is we can actually um, make this card view a little more reusable. So what we can do is start to add um, some of our, uh, what we can do is start to add variables for the different parts of this card and then um, pass those variables in in the content view to create different cards. Um, so we've got title, string, and then we've got the uh, user, string, and then we're gonna replace, start to replace these with our variables, avatar, or, got that spelled wrong. And then title, so title, and username. And then back out in our content view, it's gonna show an error because we haven't passed in those variables yet. So for avatar, we'll say image.designsystem.avatar1. And then for title, we'll say uh, title, one and then user we'll say user one two three and let's see what's your name find user oh that's why what's your username and we had that variable name was wrong. Okay, and then we can go ahead and duplicate this a couple times. Title two, title two, and change these avatars. Three, all right. Now, um, the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add that uh, title bar to the top of this, um, to the top of our view. And um, to do that, we just need to go down to, we need to go down below our Z stack. Oops. And we'll say navigation bar, navigation title, and we'll just call this messages. And we'll change the display to uh, inline. So navigation, uh, let's see. Navigation, bar title, bar title display mode. There we go, that's what we want, inline. And that's gonna push that up. And then we wanna have those two icons, so we'll use toolbar, we'll use the toolbar uh, modifier, toolbar, and uh, we've got two toolbar items. So the first one is toolbar item, placement and navigation bar leading. And that's gonna be an image um, system name arrow dot backward. There we go. And then let's add that other icon. Toolbar placement navigation trailing, and then this is going to be uh, the magnifying glass. 
in class. There we go. All right. So um, that was pretty quick. I'm going to stop here. Um, hopefully that shows you how easy it is to uh, export your designs from Figma and pull them in as a package in the new Playgrounds app and um, start to use those tokens and styles as you're building out your views in uh, Swift UI. Uh, the plugin's free to use. You can head to figma to swift.com to check it out. And um, if you have any questions or run, in, run into any issues, um, let me know. And uh, yeah, hope, hopefully this video was helpful and um, thanks for watching. Okay.